Welcome to Top Gun Options Wednesday Market Sit Rep. Matthew Buckley, call sign Wiz with your market intelligence for today and seeing some relatively weak economic uh, numbers coming out today, folks. Q1 productivity, biggest plunge in uh, nearly six years. So, oh, oh come on, Wiz. Uh, you know, it, it was the weather. Uh, I've about had it with the with the Q1 weather apologist, folks. So, uh, l l even keeping weather in it, folks, uh, even with that catastrophic weather, the, the folks who went to work worked a hell of a lot more and produced a hell of a lot less. And the unit labor costs soared to 5.7%, the most since 2012. Not good. Uh, our trade deficit, two-year high. It surged $7 billion with China, so we have a $2 billion trade deficit with China. So all these, you know, Goldman Sachs, you know, HSBC, Deutsche Bank, all these, oh, Q1 was weather and Q2 is really, really going to, uh, you know, uh, help us out here. It's kind of like uh, that scene in Animal House, you know, with Dean Wormer. Have you guys seen your midterm grades? We're, we're hoping they really improve our average. They stink. That is what's going to happen to Q2 GDP. And I bet you all these, you know, 28-year-olds running around Goldman Sachs who've been working 32-hour days at smelly coffee and sweat are scrambling right now to, to revise their – after their – Q1 uh, misses and saying, oh, Q2 is really, really going to rebound. They're scrambling, I guarantee you, to revise Q2 GDP revisions down. In our live, live trading services, we've been covering all of this ad nauseum. We know that Q2 is going to suck as well, okay? And you heard it here uh, first. Um, ADP, wow. Big ADP jobs miss this morning, folks. 179,000. That's the lowest print since January. Why does this matter? Well, if you see an ADP jobs number on a Wednesday, that means we have our Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics, our government job number on Friday. So ADP, 179,000 folks, that was, they were looking for 217. And last month's was revised down from 220 down to 215. So this is bad. This doesn't bode well for what's going to happen on Friday. Because as you can see on Friday, the unemployment rate is expected to go up from 6.3% to 6.4%, okay? Non-farm payroll, they're looking for a 219 government print. ADP was 217. We, I, I guarantee you there's one in front of this number as well, folks. I, I just, uh, I feel it in my bones, and I don't think the market's going to be too happy about it, okay? And the unemployment rate ticking up is never good news. Uh, and, and as you guys know, the reason it's been going down has been on bad news. So this whole, th this unemployment rate number really is uh, a joke nowadays. Well, the unemployment rate's going down, Wiz, that's good news. The only reason, one of the main reasons that the unemployment rate is going down, mainly is because more people are leaving the workforce. A third of college graduates are living with their parents. They are laying on the couch eating Cheetos. Or not really, they're probably out trying to get work and they can't find it, and then they're laying on the couch eating che uh, Cheetos, okay? So, um, yeah, we've created some jobs over time, but those jobs have also been in the lowest se paying sectors, right? Retail, services, all that type of stuff, uh, restaurants, bars, not really huge drivers of our economy, no offense to those people. It's just not, you know, tech jobs in Silicon Valley and, and, and that type of stuff, okay? So really, really interesting macroeconomic data out today that, that, that shows we're not doing so well. So the market's just kind of walling around, flatlining here on those ADP numbers, trade deficit, uh, all that productivity. We also got uh, an ISM number today, actually. Let, let me go back and cover that real quick. That didn't necessarily... Uh, Stink. There it is. PMI. Uh, final services PMI was 58.1, um, and we are 58.4 last time. So, eh, uh, okay. But again, folks, there's the red. The, the trade balance is just, and, and the productivity, just not good. Not 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 good at all, folks. So, I don't know, man. I'm telling you that uh, I'm feeling it in my bones that, that we're really at a precipice here. I, I really do think we've, uh, when you take a look at this market, uh, we really, it, you know, th this recent climb uh, is, is we're summoning Mount Everest here and we're up here long enough to take a picture. And then I think we're going to roll over and, and go back down to base camp here, maybe back down below 1900. You guys know that I believe these these round numbers, these 18, 1900, 1700s are magnets. We get drawn up to them. We trade around through them uh, and either go back down or, or rip your face off up to the next level and just Based on how Q1 earnings went, some of the macroeconomic data coming out right now, I, I just, I don't know, man. We can keep, we, we can keep 
melting to the upside with our hopium, but I just uh, I just don't feel it. So make sure you hedge, folks. Make sure you are safe in this market and you got your ejection seat ready to go. Okay, I got to run. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll be back with tomorrow's market intelligence report. We'll see you.